45-year-old Mark Stanganelli has been working at the Wyndham Hotel in Andover for 15 years. Mark gets paid every other week, $24. He is thrilled when he gets his paycheck. But the paycheck isn't the real reward. Like many people with Down syndrome, Mark thrives on routine and social connection. His job provides that. By having that guru in that routine, it builds their self-esteem, it builds their uh, stability, their security. Um, and also their sense of worth. But a letter of termination last month changed everything. The Greater Lawrence Educational Collaborative, who placed and supervised Mark at his job, wrote that the Wyndham Hotel setting was no longer an appropriate option for Mark. Friday will be his last day. It could be very devastating for him. That's really sad. I mean, I just can't imagine what it's going to be like on the 11th. I couldn't believe this was happening. I didn't want to share that with Mark. I wanted him to be able to be successful again. Mark's job cleaning and polishing silver had been eliminated, a job by all accounts he was good at. Personally, uh, he could stay here forever. Um, we love him. We went to DDS and asked there if we could have a job coach, job trainer for Mark. His mom says the solution is simple. With a little support, he could do another job. We were told that no, due to the budget, for DDS, they were not going to be able to uh, help us out. Even though the Department of Developmental Services states in its handbook that people with disabilities need ongoing supports to perform in regular work settings. You hate to see any, anybody leave, especially someone as special as, as Mark, who's been here for, for a long time, and we've gotten to know him, and he's gotten to know us. So we just hope that maybe some way they can find the ability to look at Mark again and to realize that he's been such a good worker. Give him a chance. Don't just toss him out. Okay. Well, the Greater Lawrence Educational Collaborative, which placed and supervised Stang, uh, Stagnelli, released a statement today. It says, while it can't comment on individual cases, programming decisions are made in partnership with other agencies and are meant to bring joy and fulfillment to the individuals involved. Brian.